Hey guys, and uh, welcome back to more Red Dead Redemption 2 with me, Supernautus. Now, last time I was on, uh, I did a couple of story missions. We got a bit further with that. Um, went to a party at the mayor's house. Chatted to the mayor. Chatted to uh, some Italian criminals. But for whatever reason, Mixer has no record of that stream. Yeah, I don't know why either. Uh, so, I don't have anything to show you. There's no past stream of the last couple of story missions. That causes a bit of a problem, but... Shouldn't be an issue. We'll just carry on from where I left off. Uh... I guess. And where I left off was that I had a mission for Josiah Trelawney. And I have a mission for Sadie Adler. Now that mission showed up first. So we're going to head all the way back to our camp and find out what Sadie wants us to do. Uh, so yeah, not an ideal situation because my last stream didn't uh, didn't save for some reason. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh my gosh. I just accidentally beat somebody. Well, that was just stupid. So I've got witnesses made a stupid mistake and now I'm going to need to try and get away. What we're going to do is ride the train tracks for a little while till we get out of town. Apparently that police officer that was away off to the side was able to see me there. Didn't make a great deal of sense but Yeah, it looks like I can't get down there either, so that's great. $25? For punching a guy? Really? Just have to get out of here then. So we're going to have a bounty on us, which is great. And all because I pressed the wrong button. And then just ran my horse right into a wall. And I can't... Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Now my horse is dead. And I don't have anything to revive him. That's gonna be a problem. Forty dollars now? What? Right, I may as well let him have me. May as well just let them kill me, because I've made a total mess of that. Well, that was a great start. <laughs> okay. I just lost a load of money. Do you know the most annoying thing, though? Is I'll still need to pay off that bounty. Oh, I appear to have a horse. Come on. Which horse is it? It's not the horse I was on before. It looks like all my weapons are there, so... Okay. Just a shame I lost that horse that I had uh, bonded with quite a bit. The trouble now, though, is if I, go, if I come across any, like, of the law or anything like that, they're still going to want to to attack me. Got a stranger mission at the top there. Uh, but we're not going to do that just now. We'll come back. To that. Uh, looked at the story mission that uh, Sadie Adler wants us to have something to do with. Uh, so, yeah, try not to uh, sneak up behind people and choke them. You end up having to spend a stupid amount of money on bounties. Is there someone? 
sure where I can clear that bounty. Otherwise that's going to just be a pain, to be honest. So somewhere between here and camp? No. Uh, there isn't a nearby post office. Or roads. I'm going to try and get there. First, to try and clear this bounty, because it's quite a large bounty. Which means we'll have a lot of people attempting to collect. On it, I think. So yeah, we'll uh, get rid of that first before we go any further. Yeah. I'd rather not have a stupid mistake make me constantly run away from the law. So yeah, it looks like my stream is actually going out on Mixer at the moment at least. So I'm hoping that bodes well for me actually having a, a stream to download and then later upload to YouTube at some point. Oh, we've got a mission there too. Eagle Fly. Oh, that's for the, uh, the natives that we met. Yeah, we met some of them in the last uh, the last stream I did, and they needed some help. Someone's trying to get them off their land. Which is uh, not very good. There we go. I just want to check something. I've not used this horse enough to get it to do any tricks. Yep. So yeah, that's, that's what I thought. Nope. Yeah, some guy needs help again. You gotta be careful who you help, you know? Sometimes they just come back and back and back. Although, the one guy that I did help more than once, he did, to be fair, offer to buy me something from the shop, so... Oops. You want me to look up? Why would I do that? Right, so let's try... Roads isn't the best place to be entered into, to be fair. Because I'm not sure they're big fans of us either. But never mind, right, there's the train station. Slash post office. So let's just head in there. Clear our bounty. Oh my. Yeah, I've just barged the door in. I hope you don't mind. This time, hmm? Keep my temper. Got some bills to pay, huh? Yep. So we'll pay everything. Just to be honest, it was all a oh, big me. misunderstanding. Goodbye. Sure it was. Okay. So we cleared that. So now we'll go and see what uh, old Mrs. Adler's wanting. She's not old, really. She's dressed in some bright yellow cowboy clothes. Okay, we've cleared our bounty. So we're ready to go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. Give me a sec. In just a sec. I'm probably going to start getting chased again, but you know. You brought hell down on yourself. Oh, he just came straight at me. He came straight for me. What's he doing? There we go. Let's get rid of that guy. I don't know where the girl's gone that, that I saved. But nevertheless, we've rescued her at least. Boy. 
Those are the kind of sequences you want to try and stop because you know, the guy's drowning somebody. Just no need for that. Ever. Ever, ever. So yeah, we're making our way to the uh, camp that we set up. up ahead with somebody sitting in it Just imagining things. Okay, so off we get. We'll go and find. Oh, my health core is a little bit low. Just take some baked beans, that ought to fix us. So, yeah, Sadie is where? She's inside the house, by the look of things. Call's coming from inside the house. Doing, Mr. It's just outside. How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have been to be adjusted. Society. Oh, Lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite High society? Are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> he did, did he yeah. Anyone, Bill Williamson. Think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Like shaved beard. Miss Sadler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, if you're more like her, we could take over the whole world. <laughs> if you're more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, yeah, you're probably right. Now, probably right. The trolley bus station. Wow, it's amazing. I we step out on the balcony and it's daylight. Look at it. I think we can hit it. I ain't never oh, what a surprise. A city well, you leave the planning to me. You'll Robbing a to me. city. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny, not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or Yeah, <laughs> that's well, true. Any mission we've had with Micah has been pretty much... Uh... Well, that's easy. Make him change. Very funny. That's pretty much been a bloodbath. That is somebody riding into camp with his head in his hands. What the hell have they done to me? They've Look, ripped his eyes out. Everybody take cover. Oh, for goodness coming. sake. Is that... That's carrying, okay. There we go. And another one. Yeah, it's definitely this gun we want to use. So I've got to run downstairs, okay. If you say so, Dutch. Calm old Driscoll, eh? Okay, go out the front door. There's another one down. Yeah, well, yeah, I am. Not gonna work. Got a wagon coming. Got 
rid of a couple of horses. Where's the cabinet? Where's this cabinet we're supposed to push? Uh, come on then. We just need to throw a Molotov in the room and then we're all dead, aren't we? So I'm taking the windows in the back. Okay. Another one. I think. Hey, I said it's everyone accounted for. I don't know. I think. We're in a bit of trouble. We. we... Right through the head. That's the one we want. Is she gonna survive this fight? I think she's doing a pretty good job by herself of killing these guys. Nicely done. Because you needed help. Okay. Now I've got to rescue her. Can I get my gun again? What's going on? Ah, I shouldn't have done that. I should have got cover. I should have taken cover. I think I've died twice in 20 minutes now. It would have helped if my gun hadn't decided to go back on my shoulder instead of letting me, you know, pull it straight out. Uh, we need to get behind the cover. Okay, let's move forward. There's another one down. Come on, in the house. Come on, get down! Really? Apparently there was no cover there. Got him. Hey, I thought we were in this together. We are, sorry, did I shoot you? Just turn me. Yeah, they're not so tough. We okay? I only had to die once to get that done. Except for Karen here. Obviously. Uh, poor kid. Well, the Driscolls are going to be a problem, aren't they? This boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near. Of course. Charles, help me with the box. We need to get this place clean. Trouble up. is, Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw, they know where we are. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. They know where we are, so. Homo Driscoll. Really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need mm -hmm. to get moving away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness. He of wants the us to get out of the country. Our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. Okay. We got work. Okay. Shall we? Yep. So, does that mean we've got to pack up? 
So we'll start getting rid of the O'Driscoll's bodies. It's a bit of a waste, I didn't loot them. He saved my life, and I could not save his. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She really did. Did she, she fight braver, or... By powerful forces, I she's got nothing to live for. Man. She's got I nothing to live for, that's why. I guess. Okay, so what's the next mission we're looking at? That one's cleared. We've got Trelawney, Dutch, and what I'm going to do right now, because it's so far away, is this one for Eagle Flies. Morning. Morning, Arthur. Where's my horse? Am I looking the right way? Yeah, so Homo Driscoll just came and showed us that, by the way, we know where you're hiding. Which is a, a little bit frustrating. Makes me wonder if this is going to happen now after every mission until I do the one that Dutch wants me to do. Come on, where are you? Okay, so. Uh, I want. I don't really need anything. I'll take that just to have it. Chewing some cocaine chewing gum. So, okay. We want that gum. And we want... The bolt action rifle just to have it. And then drop that back. Because actually that carbine repeater seemed to be... A pretty good option actually. Did a lot of damage. Took a lot of those guys out in one shot. Let's try not to die again as well, that would be good. Or get a bounty on us. Both of those things would be quite helpful, I think. Yep. We've got to ride quite far to get this mission done. Let me just see exactly how far we've got to go. It's quite a long way. But we can do it quite happily. It's this at the side of the road. God. Yeah, the horse wasn't drunk, mate. And I'm not giving him a ride home, he needs to sober up. It's his own fault for running his, running his uh, carriage straight into a wall. Killing his horse. So he can make a walk home. What I will do is I will... Ride carefully with my horse as well. Because while he's got his stamina up quite high in the core, we need to. Uh, from what I understand, from what I kind of been looking at, and I have read a little bit about it, but the cores essentially decide how quickly you recover. So, you keep the cores up as high as you can, your health should come back, or your stamina should come back, come back quicker, than if it's like, red, basically. Just ran into that guy. I didn't get a bounty on me! Or sometimes you just have to punch someone and suddenly you've got $45 to pay. Insane. Bounties don't make a lot of sense to me. You can be charged like ten dollars for murdering somebody. Instead, it's forty-five dollars for punching a guy and then running away. 
again, that was entirely my own fault. Okay, we haven't got too far left to go, I don't think, so keep moving. What do you want? Oh, you got caught again. Tough. See ya. Not gonna help you out again. I released that guy from chains twice. And he doesn't do anything for me. And he gets caught again pretty much straight away. So he can he can stay. He can stay in chains. Hopefully they'll catch him again. Well they're going to anyway, so doesn't matter whether I free him or not, does it? The only way to free him really would probably be to put a bullet in his head. Oh, better chill out because the horse is getting a little bit nervous. Well, not nervous, but uh, tired. That's what I meant to say. Have a little ride. Got three people on horseback here. Make sure and pass them. Yeah. Nope. Again, I need to keep making sure that my horse is okay because I have been pushing my horses a little hard. But I didn't expect to kill one by accidentally running into the side of a house. The horses are maybe a little more fragile than a horse would actually be in this game. But then maybe not. I'll give you a bullet in the head, what will I receive? Oh, he's a blind man, I've got to help him. Oh, well, that was just a horse going past on its own, there was nobody on its back. Would you know? Oh, here we go. Here comes our mission area. Where is he? There he is. Let's see what he's got to say. You came. Of course I came. I did. I said I would. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. Is the files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see. Okay. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? Yeah. Somehow don't think that uh, guns are going to be much use here. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's I a, problem, a wagon, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. I'm quick, but you know, it's gonna be difficult. Let's get in the wagon. And lay low. I guess. We don't want a rifle or anything like that because ideally we don't want to make any noise. So it looks like we're going to have to be a little stealthy here, guys. Which is a bit of a change up. I know that there are ways to be stealthy, so. Well, apparently I'm cold. So I assume that's what that snowflake style symbol was. Oh, there's a guy. There's a guard. Hopefully he's not gonna... That you, Al? Hey, Tom? Picking up? Yep. Supposed to meet the early train to see Okay, you just pick it up, that's good. Okay. Better get a move on then. That means no one's gonna be looking to see who's in what's in the carriage. 
he never saw me, so that's fine. Okay. I guess I can only get out when the carriage stops. Get out of here quickly. That guy is coming this way. I sneak it upstairs, that would be ideal. Nope, doesn't look like it. Can I go up this ladder then? I'm not sure that helps me. Doesn't look like it does. Maybe I'm wrong. Can I come in from the roof? Is what I'm thinking. If I can sneak in through the roof, that would be the ideal solution. Doesn't look like that's going to happen, though. But... The windows are just underneath me. actually seen me so can I open the window oh I got caught I got spotted obviously so we'll try that again yeah I mean I'm gonna have to wait through the whole thing of the wagon again Okay, we probably just want to try and get straight inside. The door was at the bottom. I was just hoping that we could go in from above and that might save us some time. I guess not. So instead, I just go in that side door that we saw that was open. my attempt there to climb over the top did not work. I guess we just want to get inside as fast as possible. It's about the only solution. And then get upstairs. We could probably take the guys out silently. Yes, you better. Just don't mind him. Go about your business. Right. Okay. I don't know how we're going to get out. That's a different story. But... Okay. We can stop. There's a door at the bottom just there on the right. Next to those boxes. Let's get out of the wagon. Let's move inside as fast as we can. Question is, where is everything that's going to be here? Uh, question is, where's this guy? Just there. Move. Stay inside. Calm. The ideal solution. Right, that guy's downstairs, so we're okay going up. I don't think there's anyone upstairs. But we'll move quickly ish just to get away from them, just in case there are. And then I think we're in that office just there. So 
says do not disturb. You must be damn Barry. Cool. <laughs> yourself, friend. This won't take long. Okay. Drag him up the top, that's fine. Damn Barry. Yes. I need some papers, my friend. Nothing important. A file. I'm from head office. You're not from head office? I don't think that matters. Give me the file. No. I need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. The one about the oil. The oil near the Wapiti. I. I. Tell me what you know. Danbury. Think, man. The mind is a terrible thing to lose. Yeah. So give me the files. Come on. It's here. It's here. Give it to me then. Get it. And let me take it. And hurry yourself up. That's fine. Thank you very much now. The thing is, buddy. You done good, Danbury. Real good. The thing is, Danbury though. It's just, I'm working, all's fine. Now stay quiet. Or head office will send me Head office will send him back. Yeah. That's it. If you report any of this to anybody, you're going to be in serious trouble. Oh, okay. Sure, sure. Okay. Oh my god. Got shot. I got shot on this guy. There he is. There you go, he's dead. Let's get the heck out of here. If you can. Let's run out of here as fast as we can. Okay, run. Oh my goodness. Might have to take a right here. What is he doing? Come on, Arthur. Did you get the I did, yeah, let's get out of here. Fast as possible. Well, that wasn't so difficult. Right, where's he gone? He's on that way. Where's he gone? He's gone this way. Change direction. Problem solved. He's shooting arrows. I'm shooting rifles. Did, didn't it? I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yeah, yeah. don't worry, he was very obliging. I thought you wasn't getting involved. Here are your papers. I thought you were going to enter and leave silently. Thank you. Well, it was. I did. You. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe yeah, maybe that's enough to save use. your... Here's your money. Holmes. Thank you. Well, you know, 
Yeah, you got 125 bucks out of that. It's not bad. Okay, so now the missions we have are all inside uh, inside Saint Denis. So the first mission we're going to do is this one for Josiah because oh, and that professor's there again. Oh, I might get to find out about his electric chair. Uh, yeah, it turns out yep. he's making an electric chair. And you might have seen in an earlier video, he asked me to get 100 gallons of moonshine. Apparently that's supposed to help him with his electric chair experiment. And we managed to find a guy to test his electric chair. Yeah. And he's hoping that local law enforcement will buy some chairs from him. If the display goes off as planned. So I want to find out what the uh, end game of that particular mission is. And because of that we're going to take a swing by there and see what he's doing. Before we uh, see what Trelawney wants. And then after Trelawney of course we'll have to see what Dutch wants to. Well, on you silly horse. What have we got here? Some sort of farm there on the right, on the left, should I say? I do know left and right, I just, uh, for some reason said right. So we'll just get right in. It's going to take us a while to get back now. I haven't gone all that way. But we needed to go all that way. You know, there's a native reservation further up. Uh, so I wonder if we'll come across that in the storyline. It seems like Dutch's plan is to uh, disappear completely. I'm just wondering uh, when we're finally going to get that money that they've apparently stolen at the start of the game. Are you? Oh well. Okay. Although the last time, the last time I helped them with the fugitive, it was uh, not good. Turned into the greys ambushing us in the street. I'd rather not be ambushed in the street again. But there is a lot of that in the game, so... Uh, there aren't as many, I'm sure there aren't as many uh, duels in the game as there were in the first Red Dead Redemption. There was always a guy hanging around in the street that wanted to duel you. I felt that way anyway. No matter what you did, there was always someone waiting for a fight. Whereas in this, it seems most people are generally okay as long as you're not doing anything to upset them. But, you know, what do I know? Across this bridge. It's full of pigs. The bridge is full of pigs. Boars. Interesting. There's a little cabin there that we're not going to. Let's keep riding. And we'll get where we're going soon enough. Great. Bye. Oh, looks like you're going to starve then. I feel like he's out there. He can probably find plenty of food and water around.
Clean water, I'm not so sure, but there's houses nearby. Go and see if the owners of the houses are uh, the hospitable type. I doubt they are, but you know. If you did come across anyone in this in this world that's hospitable, chances are they're planning to kill you. You know, certainly that's happened at least once to me. on that side and I think there might have been some alligators as well. I've got some traffic calming measures, a nice roundabout in the middle of there for some reason. Or a traffic circle if you prefer. If you prefer tra uh, traffic circle, no. Just no. Just no. <laughs> okay, so we're going to find out. What's that? There's another mission flash in there too. Oh good, that Frenchman wants us again. And there's still that one, whatever it is. But first of all, is he still waiting on his carriage? Oh yeah, look, is this is. This must be his demonstration. Let's get off. See what he's doing. Here he is, Luke. Teaching people about the electric chair. If I had to guess, this is going to be one of those ones where it goes completely wrong. Behold as uh, what they're gonna, what he's gonna end up doing probably. I'm guessing is frying his brain but keeping him alive. A little more incredible. It didn't work. He's not dead though. Right. Oh my. Sounds humane, doesn't it? Oh, his life may have been troubled, yeah, dude. But his he's not dead yet. Is peaceful. What's peaceful about this? He's screaming. Oh, and you just electrocuted yourself. Somebody shoot me, please. He just electrocuted himself. If I shoot him, will I? No, it doesn't. I think it's mighty fine. Are they both dead? They're actually both dead. I wasn't being watched, I'd loot his body. Am I being watched? I don't think I am, actually. No, I was being watched. I had a document of some kind. Oh, the blueprint for the electric chair. Can we find out what he did wrong? What we did wrong is he allowed the uh, electricity to leak back to him. I guess that teaches you that sometimes the uh, history of executions and the like uh, weren't always glamorous, if ever. That's what happens when you're working with dangerous equipment that's intended to kill. There's always the potential for it to backfire. Okay, so there's a mission of some kind in here, I think. 
let's see exactly what we're doing. Seeing as the professor is now dead and gone, we obviously need to be looking at some other kind of mission. Let's Somebody in here? Oh yeah, there we go, look. There's our stranger. One moment, please. Hey. This is extremely delicate. There. Oh, wonderful. Algernon Wasp, purveyor of the exotic and the exquisite. Onshine. Algernon Wasp. Tacitus Kilgore. How can I help you? May I interest you in a... Uh, the Tacitus Kilgore? Interesting. How about a nymph? I am is that a hat shop? Idiots in this town all want to tell you nymphs, but or a stone nymph. make the coarsest of marble. I mean, quite frankly, the Baroque is an abomination. Belgium. What? Now that is a land for the connoisseur. Oh, yes. Yeah, I, yeah. As I always say. But, you know, I'm not really a nymph kind of man. Oh, of course, too ephemeral. You want something no. uh, more tangible, more gothic. Yeah, yeah. I also make corsets. Sure. Would you like a corset? I always wear one. No. Uh, no. I don't think so. Yeah, I ride a lot of horses. Um, the whalebone might stick in. Hmm. Yeah, just a little. A cup of tea. Uh, sure. Yeah, can I, I take it with me? Go in a paper cup. Are you a gentleman of leisure? An aesthete? <gasps> an artist. Uh, I suppose I'm <clears throat> kind of an adventurer. Ha! Huh. Yes, of course you are. Here, be careful with the China. An adventurer? Yes. Yeah. A Belgian? No, no, no. They are Philistines in that area, not to be trusted. Youth, no. eternally preserved in marble, is more their specialty. I fear China will always elude them. Now, why are yeah. you here exactly? I don't know. You're an adventurer. Yeah, I'm just kind of a wanderer, a lost soul. Saw a question mark on the map and just yeah. came to you. That's that's why I'm here. I do pay exceptionally well for certain for what? objects needed for. No, all right. So it's going to be another you thing for I fetching do items. Exceptionally well. Well, what do you need? Okay. Let's see. Right now, he's, I have a couple of commissions. He's exceptionally I need well. At least fifteen egret plumes. Good oh, ones, okay. obviously. Yeah, sure. I also need fifteen assorted orchids. Here's a list. Okay. Okay, and where am I going to get them from? Just do. growing randomly Thanks in the middle the of nowhere. Thank you, Tacitus. It'll be very worth your while. Sure it will. I'm sure it will. I'm not going to be bringing them to him for a little while. Just another fetch quest. So we're going to go and have a look and see what this crazy French guy wants. Because last time we saw him, he uh, wasn't in the best of places. Was being chased down. So now what's he doing? Being attacked for the uh, would be a, a nice way to say it. He's being attacked for sleeping with another man's wife. There's no nice way to say it, really, is there? Okay, so where is he? Oh, he's in here. The Galerie Laurent. My French accent is terrible. I'm sorry. Painting and design. Well, let's see what he's got to say for himself today. Enjoy the show, if that's possible. Enjoy the show, if it's that's possible. Show. So don't come asking for I just don't like how much time you're spending with the man is all. Just wait until you see his well, work. Looks like it's she's the uh, progress. one of the well, wives. I'm not sure how I feel about progression. Paintings or otherwise. Well, Let's find him. He won't have seen the light of this before. At the moment. Maybe that's a good thing. Well, that's not him. That it's Greek. Because he's French. We know the accent. The man oh, there he is. Look there he is. <laughs> Great start. Look at these Excuse idiots. Excuse me, Mr. Chatonet. Couldn't you painted some drawers on her? Madame. No. I paint her Wasn't wearing any, state, so why would he add underwear? Yeah, watch out for these Puritans. There's nothing natural about nudity. To be naked is to be free, innocent, alive. Like Buddha said, you know, we are all just here to fuck. <gasps> well, explain <laughs> the difference of those hot and tots. Hey, you got a picture of my wife here. In her 
delicate. Henry, oh. is that your behind? Why would you be showing what it to that the, man? That's my what mom. In the world? As nude as the day she was born. What Stop in the world? Looking at my oh, this is gonna turn into an absolute Stop disaster. Well, maybe she shouldn't expose herself like that. This is disgusting. A nerve on you. That's it. Oh, for goodness oh, sake! On, it's turned into a brawl in an art gallery. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, Arthur's just breaking down into fits of laughter. I'm not surprised. Oh, we got a fight. Well, that was just silly of you, wasn't it? Clearly not a fighter. Oh, I need to stop these idiots. Oh, these, these idiots. Come on, the fighting, the hand to hand combat's a bit annoying. Oh, we could look some of these bodies before we do this. Oh, look here. Hang on, buddy, I'll come and find you. I just need to loot these bodies first. I think I'm going to have to go by the entrance. I think that's enough bodies looted anyway. I don't actually think we got anything off any of them. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to get out of here now. He knows a place we can lay low. Oh, looks like we're gonna have some more trouble the moment we go out the door, to be honest. Sounds like, should I say. Hearing some raised voices. What can you say? It was not boring. It was not boring. It was not. So what are we doing? What are we doing? Oh, we're walking. He's, he's going to hide somewhere. What? Two streets over. He's going to hide in a cupboard or something. You keep provoking emotions like that. All your canvases left punch holes. I told you I was a whole ass! Yeah, you've got to a whole did. ass. And you are. You told him he was a whole ass. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. Yeah, have fun. I doubt it. Right now, it seems like the only thing it'd get me is kicking the balls. Oh, you are funny, you know. I hope to see you again sometime. Yeah, I don't share that, uh, that joy. Well, he's still marked in yellow there, so I'm going to wait and see what happens. In case he gets booted straight out. No, I guess we're done. Hey, why aren't you working? Just taking a Because I don't work here, mate. So that's why I'm not working. Uh, could be trouble for you if you don't stay out of my way. Okay, let's get our horse and let's head over to Josiah Trelawney. Here he comes. That street there. Gave me through a bunch of money last month. Then I got drunk and went horn, and finally I woke up to anyway. What is my horse doing? Got myself stuck. Well, okay, I will. Get out of the way. Okay, boy. Go further so I don't end up accidentally putting my arms around her throat or something. That's the trouble. It seems like that's easy to accidentally do. You're trying to mount your horse. There's a person nearby. You choke them instead. That's cool. So where are we going here? Should we go down here? Might have to. Shit. Oh, come on. Excuse me. Yes, I'll get off a of horse here then. The Trelawney's somewhere up here. I think. Oh, here he is. Ah, there you here are, he is. Boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get See you what he's doing. up a bit. What? 
Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahassee riverboat looking like this. Can't? Not if you want to fit in so well, no one All realizes right. you're there to rob the place. So I'm going to have to you about? dress up nice. That suit is not fit for the purpose at hand. Come along, dear boy, come along. Okay, I'm coming. Hello, can I help you, gentlemen? By the fine yes, three-piece town suit. Is in need of a new suit. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Three-piece town suit. Make this gentleman... Look like the duke he really is. It was the mm. English's fault. His grandfather had to. Oh, this is the this is the super one. I jealous people. You can see the aristocrat in his profile. The yeah, heavy okay. brow. The Whitmore. The Whitmore. Inbreeding. Might I suggest a fine three-piece town suit, sir? Perfect I guess that's what we're buying. Oh, it's free anyway. So yeah. Excellent, thank you very much. Oh, I need my hat. To the barber. Sure. Good luck to the barber. What exactly do you want me to do? You don't want me to shave it all off, are you? Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is, is it? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much What does he intend to do to my hair? You play cards and win. I mean, the hair on his head, you can tidy that up if you want, but the... While you win. The chops stay. Going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. No when really. you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when oh, the wait, so comes in and you I'm take whatever cheating, you want. basically, you is what you're saying. I'm cheating at poker. Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. I'm going to guess that they've got a decent amount of security there. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. You're going to make me cut my hair, mate. I'm not happy. No, but we, you, all of us, are magnificent jobs. I hope so. Come on. Horrible feeling is going to make Arthur call us here. Could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? This unlikely fellow. Yes, you've got to cut your hair. Fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. I suppose we could cut his hair a bit shorter at least. But the facial hair doesn't go. Make him look like a prince, sir. Well, there we go. The facial hair is not going to change. Well, actually, no. They do look a bit insane, don't they? That'll do. That's what we want. There, very smart. Come on, let's get to the box. Yeah, because we're not touching the facial here. I've arranged some transportation. Have you? Ooh, a carriage. Trying to do it without robbing the guy or dragging him out. George, to the Grand Gorgon, I don't have my hat. Grand Gorgon, sir. Well, I don't have a hat on or anything. From Toad, the Prince. Yeah, this person. is a bit much, ain't it? The coach. We it is quite a bit much. Like a bunch of oh yeah, I'm oh, sure nobody's gosh. coming up on their own power. Money to burn. Which reminds me. No shuffling and mumbling. Pop your chest out. Doesn't he just pretend to be the yeah, right, okay. oil man? Saint Hamlet. So, who's a mark? It might be Hamlet. You all right, by the way, the driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Blythe. 
made a fortune and hosiery of all things. Hosiery. Hosiery. Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. Oh, does he? So I really don't like the idea of having to travel with a boat. Hand him. How does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become mm -hmm. a very good friend of mine. So he's also going to be cheating, the, cheating the cards, is he? Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go Will wrong? He? Indeed. A million different things could possibly go wrong, Arthur. And what money am I playing with? Yeah. Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting. Oh, okay. My chips will be waiting for me, will they? Even your weapon will be here. There are searches when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. I've got to hand over all my weapons. Good luck, sir. Don't even get like holdouts or anything. Now remember what I said. This doesn't fall out in New Vegas. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune, unless someone else is writing it. Watch Strauss. Listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky. So we're gonna watch Strauss and listen to the dealer. There they are, gentlemen. How wonderful to see you! Arthur, I need to make sure I don't win every single hand. We met in New York. Come on, champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than no, the turkey that survived no. Thanksgiving. I hope you're not gonna Hello, intend to buy very boy. expensive things. Champagne. Hello, gentlemen. Can I just walk on? I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. I haven't brought any with me. The tables are white. I'll go find oh, it's gone to uh, from day to night. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self doubt. Yeah, that's. Uh... People are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Yeah, but. They've got now, security. Time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever mm -hmm. you say. Now where can I get a cocktail? So we're going to sit at the poker table. Play a game of poker. We have a chair here with your name on it, sir. Excellent. So who am I looking out for? Good evening, gentlemen. Strauss. Sorry, I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. <laughs> Desmond Blythe. Evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, mm -hmm. let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little Don't money. Don't hit the player, hit the game. Look at okay, so he's behind him there. Up, if I do this, I can look at Strauss. Oh, like this already. We aim to please, sir. It looks like he's telling me to fold. Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. So he's asked me to fold out of that one. Well, I assume so anyway. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. Queen ten seven. Oh well. Oh, they're going all in. Here we go then. I'm glad I folded. Because we're about to lose three players and go right down to one straight away. But he's got three queens. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. So it was definitely not a good idea to play that hand. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Great, just the two of us. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Makes the game a lot easier for him. So what I don't understand why they went all in. That was a bit silly. I'm an oil man, from a sense. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh well, I'm I'm a secret oil man, you know. One of those oil men. I thought about getting into hosiery, but oh, he said to. I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. It's dropping five bucks just to. You sound just like my wife. Tell me to play, so let's call that.
710 Jack. Okay, Mr. Callahan, I'm all in. He's all in. He's nodding, so I take it we just uh, call. call him. Interesting. Pair of cowgirls. I got a pair of queens, he got a pair of jacks. And I win with a pair of queens. Ship. Ship. He went all I in. He had a way more he had way more chips than me. Well he's got those two stacks of chips there, surely. There were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. No, you're right. Your it's probably not. Ass down. Oh well. Why? I got a watch. Oh, he's got a watch. An expensive one, real fine, Swiss, a Reutlinger no less. It's in oh, the very nice. Upstairs. It's worth more than you. It's worth more than me. Okay. I just now play as you wish. Okay, okay. So you must I'll play. Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Yeah, I do. We crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. Okay, let's see what we got. <laughs> I am one hundred percent all in. It's all in. Man. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. And he's saying to do it. Well, okay. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. That's it. Pair of kings. Very good, but not Pair of aces. Enough. See Shit. if we drop some kings out. See if we drop some kings here. Oh, he's got three uh -oh. aces. And a jack. Yes, and a two. Beauty. Why? Hard lines, Mr. Blind. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace high diamond. Oh, flush. diamond flash. God damn you! No offense. Diamond flush. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall mm. we go and have a look? Why not? Mm. Gentlemen, please, cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. The new guy could escort us to the office. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. Sure You're thing. Having quite the night. Well, we're doing okay for now, but so far, I get the feeling this is going to turn. Uh... I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. Oh. <laughs> we live in strange times. First, you got to be careful. I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little. Oh, he's got his own gun, has he? Very good. good. I'll make sure to take you out before anything happens then. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Oh, uh, imagine. Uh, wow. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I oh, I think I am, and all the other things that are in the safe at the same time. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, Indeed you can't. Here we are. Oh, is this Blythe's private suite, is it? Well, that's good. Right, we're inside. Let him open. Oh, there's another guard there. Can we knock him out now? Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. I'll be having that. Thank you. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. He's, a, he's, a, he's conscious, though. But let's get the safe emptied. Idiot, huh? Everyone's gonna have heard that shot. Loot the safe, come on. Loot the safe. Okay, but we're not going to get far. Reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Well, we better move fast then. We can't just dive in the water and swim for it. Alright, well, let's hope. And 
How exactly are we getting out of here? I, I don't know. This is what tends to happen when you leave well, your If we can get into like a lifeboat. No if there is a life. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. Yeah, if there's a lifeboat, we can go there. Anyway, we should go oh, oh, there. Did we go downstairs? Oh wait, no, he's still. Oh, he's gone in there. Which it surely will. He's gone in there. To the bar, senor. Should I be following him? Should I be staying inside? That seems un a bad idea. Everyone's gonna know what we're doing. What did I do I hope you had fun, sir. A nice watch. <laughs> You boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, look, there's your friend. Uh oh. The lawn is there. And so is he. We've got a gun now. Oh, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There yeah, you just didn't like that you lost. Ah! Come on, Ooh. Oh. Yeah, I got the money. Got him. Got him while he was on the ground somehow. Can we get out of here? Oh, looks like I can't get out that way. Me. I think bring my gun. Outside. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Let's get out of here. Fast. Okay, are we just gonna swim? I don't see how we're gonna swim all the way back to the city. That's a long way. They'll be on their way back. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, all that money's going to be ruined, how much surely. Did we get? Uh, a few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, yeah. indeed. And this watch. Uh, apparently, it's worth a bunch of Swiss. Uh, a Reutlinger or something? Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. Ooh. <laughs> we'll give it back then. How much is it worth? Right. Come on, let's get out of here. <laughs> Good one, Arthur. Take it straight off him. You never see it again. Okay. So that's cleared uh, that mission off, and that's given the gang a bit more money. I don't know how much money it's given me, but. Seven hundred and fifty is what I got. So the only other mission we've got now is that one for Dutch. Uh, oh, we've got... That, I believe, is a prison. No other missions around the outskirts. Oh, what's that? Jim Boy Calloway. We dealt with all of the um, gunslingers, so we have to go back to them. I actually want to do that. Where am I? I actually want to try that because I want to see what the outcome of that mission is. So we're going to take a stage to we'll have to take a stagecoach out to uh, Valentine so we can finish that mission off, presumably. Or do I have to? I'll probably have to duel him. Won't I? Probably have to duel him. 
What? Just knocked me off a bloody horse. Okay, boy. I need to settle down. Take a ride. We take a ride to Valentine. The quicker we can get there, the better. We'll make it fast. So we're going to go to Valentine, we're going to see what Jim Boy Calloway wants us to do. The drunken gunslinger. He was apparently not all he was cracked up to be. Apparently. So I'll just get off the coach now. Exactly. Appreciate Calloway it. has to offer. If as I think he's probably gonna he'll probably be annoyed that I found out that he was actually garbage. I want to duel me. And if he does, well I think he's gonna have a bad time. Some yeah, where's Calloway? Around here. Boy Calloway and a rider called Levin. Drunk boy Calloway. This bar's got bullet marks to remember him by. Last Looks like we're on a bit of a rampage then. San Denis. San Denis. Yeah, rooms on a riverboat there. San on a riverboat. On a riverboat? Oh, okay then. The riverboat we just dropped. Get on to San Denis and have you some sandal. We wouldn't drink here. He wouldn't drink at, he wouldn't drink at his own bar. He wouldn't drink at his own bar. I'm gonna have to pause things for a minute, guys. I need to go to the bathroom, so I'll be back in a minute.
Okay. Hey guys, back again. So we're gonna have to ride now back to the uh, coach, and then we can. Uh, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, waltzing through here like I own the place. Got that right. So there we go. We're going to go back over. And we're going to travel back. You give me a ride. To San Denis again. Can you take me to San Denis, please? That ain't no quick ride, so let's get going. Yeah, it's not a quick ride. So let's indeed get going. If you excuse the expression, don't spare the horses. Here we go, Sandy, we're back. All right, here you go, friend. So on the map. Where will we find Calloway? We'll find him right there. Thank you very much. Where's my horse? Yeah, let's get on our horse and see where we're going. jump to someone else's horse, we've got a horse of our own. Perfectly serviceable horse of our own. Here we go, let's find out where Jim Boy Calloway is. Apparently he's on this boat. I don't know what my chances of getting on this boat without being attacked are. But we'll give it a try. I wasn't anywhere near you. Oh, you just know this is going to be a duel. Oh, good. That would be helpful. Oh, my friend with no name. You found us. Sure. How did you get on? About how you'd expect. Well, any good anecdotes? Yeah, I had to kill two of them. Uh, to be honest, Not really. Things went a little differently. Uh, I did shoot a lot of people. I thought that's sort of what you wanted. Well, I'd, uh, <clears throat> yes, that'll you be ended up fun. shooting two of them. Do you think anyone noticed it was you? Noticed? I'm helping one of them. I mean, do you think anyone would mind if I, if we said he'd done it? Boy Calloway. Sure, I don't care. Just as long as... Share the money? Of course I will. <laughs> Literature is a filthy business, but sometimes it pays well. Especially when you lie. Great. That's a goddamn fest! What the hell's going on here? Uh, no. Oh, great. Who's this grass snake? Uh, you know, oh, it's Calloway, and he's gonna want to fight. You've been being me. I'm nobody, buddy. But I'm somebody! And I can't have any sure you nobody are. being this somebody, you goddamn... I don't know what the goddamn you are, but trust me, it ain't nothing I want to be, so you can't be cool. me. Cool. away with words. Oh, damn you, yeah, he's not got away with words, words at all. Damn you. Damn you, nobody. Hey, I'm going to pull a gun on me. Oh, but I can't take credit for that, which I damn didn't do. Says I didn't. I, I'm an old man. This never happened to Achilles, the Gawain, the Caesar. It can't happen to me. I will kill them both here. Yeah, calm down. Should have killed both of us? Yes, you are. Uh, yeah. Well, let's prove it one more time. I don't have to prove 
Nothing to you, nobody. No, of course you don't. But maybe you need to prove something to you. Maybe. <laughs> you got quite a way with the words. Yeah. You're definitely a better way with the words than you. My book and we should kill Plato here. Maybe we shouldn't. Now, come on. Who shall we kill? I mean, you kill, I mean. Ah, yeah. Damn, I slayed my dragons years ago. I'm a tired old man. Uh, now you're drunk and you're bored yeah. and you're a mess. Well, I always hated Slim Grant. Oh, Slim Grant. My cousin. But that was years All right. ago. Well, where's Slim Grant? Who's Slim Grant? This is him. An old friend of Mr. Calloway's. He ain't no friend of mine. He's state marshal now out of Annisburg. State Marshal. All right. Make he's a state marshal. That's probably a bad idea then. Marshall, do they? All right, probably a bad idea taking him down you. then, don't you think? Wait for you at drop. Uh, just sober up and start practicing. Otherwise, this won't be a book. It'll be a memorial. Uh, whatever you say. Yeah. <laughs> you know it what? will. I kind of like that fella. No. Well, that's makes no, things interesting, fine. no doubt. So Slim Grant in what they call Annisburg. Annisburg is up here. Well, why not? Why not try it? Mister. Why not try? Can we not just like ride the train up to the next stop? Any way to do that? Where's the train station? Is there a train station? I assume there is. Is there like a station we can ride the train from? That would make it a lot quicker. I don't think there is though. Unless it's there. That is the uh... Trolley station, isn't it? Wait, where am I going? The wrong way. That's where I'm going right now. We go this way. You'd end up near the trolley station, I think. Oh, take a left there and we're right at it. Let's try it and see what happens. Get out of the way. Try getting out of the way. Ah, you're back. What can I do for Train tickets. I want a train to Annisburg. That's the quickest way to deal with this particular mission. And it costs a bit less than going on the uh, stagecoach, I'm sure. It'd be nice to ride the train for a change. I've also had a quick uh, little play of Fallout 76, so I'll probably be coming back with uh, that at some point as well. Uh, probably tomorrow. Um, but tonight we'll do this. Uh, let's see where we get. What I'll do is I'll do this mission, and then we'll see what Dutch wants us to do. And that should take us right up to where we want to finish for the night. Okay, so we're on the we're on the train. Let's get off the train. And let's go find out where. Slim is. Guess he's in here. Oh, let's see. Let's greet him. You. I'm looking for Slim Grant, State Marshal. Heard you boys know where to find him. Oh, Mr. Marshall was here last week. I think he headed was he? to Beaver Hollow looking for some outlaws. Beaver Hollow for outlaws. Okay. Sure. When he catches them fellers he's been after. 
if he's still alive. Couple of days. Well, you ain't gonna go look for him? If Apparently not. This boss, who you all hated, went missing, possibly dead, at the hands of a bunch of violent wanted men, would you go looking for him? Well, yeah, probably, because I'm a fool. Well, when he's dead, maybe I'll become Marshal. I'll be a hero riding a horse from town to town, mister. Think of that. I don't think that's what it's about, to be honest. A friend. So we're riding out to meet some outlaw to the outlaw camp. So where's that? He said it was up north. I guess that's it there. Okay. So let's make that ride. Up to an outlaw camp. Or maybe we have to help the marshal. Yeah. Then again, do we want them in one piece? If uh, if Calloway's supposed to be uh, fighting them, maybe we don't want them to be in good condition. You know, if we want Calloway to actually uh, have a chance. Let's go see if we can lend a hand. For all I know, he's been captured, tied up next to a campfire. So if he is, I hope, I just hope he's not like that one idiot we got one time. That burned himself to death because he stepped in the fire. Well, we're not far away from his location, so. See what happens. Yeah. Might have to be careful approaching this camp though. Let's go this way. Let's go a little bit faster. Ford the river. Here we go. So here's where he's supposed to be. Maybe we'll just take a pop a squat there. Actually, let's just pick up some other weapons. The carbine repeater. And the bolt action rifle. Or some throwing knives. I think what we'll probably do is switch to our knife at the moment. Let's see what we can do. But I'm supposed to capture him alive. There's a few guys here. That's not going to work out so well for us. If we try it that way. So where is Slim Grant? Over here. He's tied to the tree. Thank God you came, son. You must be Slim Grant. State Marshal. Cut him free. Okay. Let's get you out of here. Oh, yes. Indeed, son. Uh... Hey, I knew someone would come for Grant. They see you. Excuse me a moment. Ah! Where are they? Is that it? 
Get out of here. I did. I need a favor, Mr. Grant. It's nothing big. I'll explain on the way. You might as well relax. This is real peculiar. I'm state marshal, you know. Yeah, I know that. I know. Just sit tight. All will be revealed. Now you gonna tell me what the hell is going on? Am I supposed to carry him on the back, do you think? I was. Before you got so short with me. Yeah. You know, they allowed me to continue what I was saying. So we're not gonna beat him or anything like that. Because that would be silly. But we're gonna have to ride all the way down now to San Denis, I think. Oh no. Where is... Where am I supposed to be taking him? All the way up there. Okay, I don't really understand why, but... I'm taking you to see an old friend here. It's a reunion, sort of. Yeah. Can you stop being so damn cryptic? I'm telling you all Am I being cryptic? I, I don't know. It's a job. Someone wants to see you. I'm taking you to them. What if yeah, I don't pretty much. see them? Well, that's a good argument for keeping that rope around your wrist. Yeah. You can have your words with uh and this is an abduction. I'm saving you. This is just a, a little detour. detour on the way to <laughs> I will prosecute you for this. You insubordinate bastard. If you survive, you go again, Mr. Grant. I ain't doing yourself no favors. What's your name, son? I ain't got no name. And I ain't your son. Sit tight. Uh, no name for me. No, it will. Oh, it most certainly will. The only thing I'm concerned about is if someone sees me carrying a state marshal in the back of my horse. Yeah. Oh god. Please tell me he's still alive. Well, there we are. It means drop here. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so you got him. Yeah. I, think I did so. get him. Did you kill his cousin back in '82? <laughs> Whose cousin? My cousin. I never shot no one. Didn't deserve it. And oh. You shot Jim nope. Calloway. And I told you then I'd shoot you too. And I would have. You'd shown up. I was there. Yeah. You weren't. You left town. You he ran. Back. But I don't care now. It's nigh on He's a coward. We're old men. We're lucky. Fight me. You're an old man. Come on, fight me. A bit oh, he's an idiot. God damn you. Oh. oh, well done. You shot a man in the back. Someone tells me that might have been... Uh, an example of how he did everything in his life. Well, that settles that Sorry, now. I'm not sure. Alexa's not sure either. When these things happen. No, maybe he wasn't. Both of you. Now calm down. I'm gonna have to fight him. You should have shot him twenty years ago. He's dead now. You are a sickness scum like you and you, Plato. Come oh, he's gonna go. he's gonna want to draw down. Why? I said draw, God damn it! No. Yes! And shoot me in the back too. What? Not even. What? I... It didn't even react to me pressing a button. Sorry about that. Yeah. Indeed. Still, at least now you got a, an end into your book. Yeah, he died. Oh, don't you start now. Huh? No, I'm not starting. I'm, I'm happy. He's I'm, happy. I'm free. 
I can finally go back to writing westerns instead of being in one. Hey, he was yeah, that's wild. a good thing. And I know some wild people. He was certainly complicated. I'm sorry I shot him. No, and you didn't shoot him. He did. In the back. After he mortally wounded Slim Grant. Fair and square. Yes, that's it. Last That's a good ending to his story. Well, more or less, I guess. There's more? Oh, no, there's always folk who shoot you in the back and then rewrite history. Oh, well, hey, where do I send the money? Oh, God. Send it to Tacitus Sorry, guys. Google. I'm blowing my nose on, no, on stream. Didn't mean to do that. I just uh, forgot to mute my mic. My apologies. I want to check something actually. Just while I'm here. Is there anything up here by this waterfall? There's like waterfalls with caves and things in them. I think this might be one with an interesting item in it. I might be wrong. Yeah, it looks like I am. Looks like I'm wrong. Oh, we'll just go back. I know there's a waterfall somewhere that there's a cave behind, and there's some some uh, secret weapons. I don't know if we call them much of a secret, actually. If I'm honest. Right, so we should have... Slim Grant here. Got a health cure off him. But where's... Jim Boy Calloway? There. There he is. So we'll look Calloway and see what he's got on his body as well. He's got a dollar. And a gold wedding ring. Yep. That's exciting. Oh, and he's got a weapon. Hang on, hang on, yep. hang on. I've got to pick up his gun. Obviously we need to. All things considered. See what those guns are looking like. Uh, oh, yeah, that's a pretty good gun. Not a bad gun at all. Okay, let's get going. We've got to go and find out what Dutch wants. That guy will get his dream then. Guy in Annisburg. Get to be in charge. Oh, come on. Don't ride so fast down the path. On the wrong way. <laughs> that was silly. We almost hurt ourselves. I'm hanging there. I would, you know, I'm just thinking the way they were going to play out that story was that Grant shot uh, Callaway in the back. But was mortally wounded by Calloway, and I'm thinking Calloway was facing in the wrong direction. 
Brandt was facing in the wrong direction. Didn't you see? He was lying on his face. Calloway was lying on his back, wasn't he? Doesn't make sense. Of course, while these days you would find that out by uh, comparing the uh, markings on the uh, ammunition, obviously they didn't really have that as a thing on the same level at least back in the late 19th century. Late 19th slash early 20th. Their methods weren't quite as uh, advanced as that at that point in time. But even still, I think people were intelligent enough to look at a scene and say, that's not how it happened. Right, so... Oh, he's got the pox. Better stay away from him then. Well, I don't want to go anywhere near you, mate, if you've got the pox. Whichever pox it is that you have, you can keep it away from me. Yeah, we're riding through Van Horn. Van Horn was where we met. The lady with her travelling circus. Hell? What were called freaks at the time. They were really just people with unfortunate deformations. Rightly, we don't call them freaks anymore. Because they're just human beings. Sometimes they ended up having to live their lives <laughs> running away from people who were. Are you kidding? Come on, get up. Okay, boy. We need to get out of here before somebody finds out that we did this. Okay, boy. Get out of here before we get a witness. It's really easy to do that, to just run into another horse. I'm not sure, you know, the way the horses kind of seem to flip on their head almost seems a bit... a bit unrealistic, let's be honest. But, you know, I think I've still got some good defence as well. Entering Lemoyne. So yeah, before we go to Dutch, which we're going to do, but before we do, we'll hit this fence. Get some uh, cash off him for some stolen goods. Because we had that watch that we took from that guy, didn't we? Oh, we've got to go across this. Long bridge area, do we? It's just off to the left. Here it is. Hi. Yeah, we've got our hat back on. Some animals around. Just look out, but he wasn't really anywhere near him. Some of these people, they just take up the whole road. These road hogs.
Yeah, so I don't know what Dutch is wanting us to do. He says he's wanting us to get out of there. He says he's wanting us to, us to escape. He's wanting, to, us to, he's wanting us to escape. Then... Big score off that riverboat. You don't just get away with that. I must have a decent amount of money aside to deal with all those issues. Oh, the fence is that way. Hang on. So Sandini Market. And the fence is around the back of this building. If I remember rightly. There's a door here that he's inside. There he is. Royal attempt, but not quite good enough. Claude Jarro has survived worse. If you're that right? selling fine, but you are not welcome to linger. Hmm. I'll try not to linger. Why have you got a bandage on your head? Okay, what can we sell you? Gold plate buckle, you can take that. We've got two gold pocket watches. Tell you what, the Reutlinger pocket watch, $155. We'll definitely sell that. Silver clamp buckle. Silver pocket watch. Three gold wedding rings. And a platinum pocket watch. I think that's probably everything we've got to sell him. So, bye. Not the guy that we had to. Oh yeah, because there were slaves hidden underneath his, uh, in behind his walls, weren't there? Well, regardless, now it's time to finish up with Dutch. Well, should I say, do the mission with Dutch and finish up. See what Dutch is wanting us to do. And then I'd say that'll probably be the last uh, action we take this evening. Oh, I want to hear something from some guy, apparently. Don't think I know. It'll just be some inane nonsense. Well, there we go. Dutch is up here. There you are. I don't know what he's saying. You're late. Couple of days in this place, you turned into some clock watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave forever. We've been doing well, making money, but for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we. I'm pretty get sure Tahiti's there. closer. No questions asked. We will disappear, be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific. An untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. We made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. So we are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then well, we're done. Now we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on! Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me, and you all will. Now remember, we just want money. Don't make us kill you. Okay, Mr. F. Give me everything you got. Fine Quick. folks are their valuables. <laughs> Mr. F, check that room back there. I got this one. Dying. That's your choice. Not mine. Come on, 
These people are itching to part with their valuables. Why aren't their pockets empty yet, Mr. M? All your money now. Don't make me ask twice. Okay. Fine, it's yours. There's nothing much here! What? There's nothing really here! You're sure? Yes! Then get out here and get ready for company. All of you! Behave! We don't want to hurt any of you. Mr. M, check the safe! Sure. Open it. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Open it! There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn! We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. Come on now! We got you surrounded! That greasy son of a bitch, he set us up! I think this seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. What are we gonna do, gentlemen? Something! The trolley. The trolley! I think we got set up, and that's not surprising. Oh, looks like we're going on a trolley. A tram. Whatever you want to call it. Right, who's driving? Better weapons to use, no, I don't. Great. Of course, it does. Half of the left, okay. Did you say they ain't gonna kill themselves? Open sides again. How the thing works. The thing's broke. Hold on! Yeah, it's not working. Well, that's one way to stop it. But the police are going to be on top of us in a moment, so we need to get moving quick. Oh, what's going on? Are you drunk? Why is the screen going all wobbly? Oh, we're dead. There's absolutely no way we can survive this fight. See if we can take a few headshots here. Just to... There we go. There. There we go. Loads of these guys here. It would be quite useful if it could have no life. Where's this guy? There's a guy on my right. He needs to buy now. No, he can't get up on the balcony. Where are we going? Following Lenny. Let's do that. Go, 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 go. I'm gonna catch up to Lenny. There we go, that's that one done. Run. Where are we going? 
got that guy. And a worthless heist. Uh oh. Got that guy at least. shots to die. Save some trouble. Head for, that wagon. Head for the wagon. Okay. We need to get out of here now. I'm doing my rifle. Because, you know, uh. Because, you know, we're going to be in some trouble here. He's dead. No, it looks like they're not giving up yet. You're right. There we go. That solves that problem with those guys. Unloaded, no. Right in there. Do I have any dynamite? think we're going to do there, because we're in serious trouble and I uh, don't think we're going to get away with it this time. Just get that feeling. What's that? Throw dynamite. What? Try to shoot it? Where? I don't think I needed to shoot it. They're gone. I wanted to shoot it, but I didn't need to shoot it because it was already. You know what's interesting is that the $165 bounty is pretty much the value of that. Uh, yeah, I don't think things are going to be any better back at the camp. I've got a horrible feeling about how things are going to turn out when we get back to camp. Like that everyone might be dead. Because Colmo Driscoll came. Once didn't he? So what's to stop him coming again? I think we're clear. Yeah, clear with no money. Touch. Next time, it's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good leak. Yeah. I know, but well, we made it. Thanks to you. Yeah, we did. We got nothing. Yeah, you're a good kid. 
How much did we make? Fifty bucks. Oh. Wow. And a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. Yes, he did. He did set us up. You're right. Like a yokel. Yep. Put the law on us. What do we do to him? What did I do to him? Well, it was easy. I guess he thinks he's the king around here. You he don't did what he asked like you to, and then he didn't need you anymore. So, what are we doing next, Dutch? Well, I guess we're going to kill him. We just need money. One more decent take, and we're gone. Well, why don't we rob the bank? Is our best so called benefactor the bank? Even after that, uh, the bank. After that. Well, how many oh, police are there so going to be? Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on. The trouble is, how are we going to. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, yeah, it could have been good. Could have been good if it had turned out better, but it didn't. Well, guys, that's going to be everything for tonight. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed what you've watched. Uh, remember, if you want to find out when I'm going live, head on over to Twitter, uh, twitter.com slash supernotice, where I'll be able to uh, let you know. Uh, when you're watching me on Mixer, it's mixer.com slash supernotice, and I am going to eventually get round to uploading the videos I've got to YouTube at Supernotice Streams fairly soon. But for now, keep an eye on my uh, Twitter feed, as I say. And you'll know when I'm going live, you'll be able to join up and follow my videos if you like. And I'll see you next time. Thank you very much and good night. Eventually, when I eventually start.